In this video, I'm going to explain what horsepower and torque are. Let's start with the equation. Horsepower equals torque times RPM divided by 5252. Torque is a measure of how much twisting force an engine produces. Now an engine's torque output will vary depending on how fast it's spinning or the RPM. So any spec of torque needs to be followed with a specification of how fast the engine is spinning because the torque is different at every RPM. Here's an example of what I mean. This is a torque curve for a Porsche 911. You can see that the torque changes as the RPM goes up and up and it reaches a peak at around 5500 RPM so the spec for max torque for this engine would read 300 foot-pounds at 5500 RPM. Let's move on to examples because I think examples are the best way to learn. So in order to make things easy, we're going to choose an engine such that the lever arm of the crankshaft is one foot, meaning if the engine produces 100 foot-pounds, it can lift 100 pounds. So in order to do that, we need to make the crankshaft circumference 6.283 feet. And also for ease, we're going to make the cliff depth 6,283 feet. Again, that number is chosen for ease. It is exactly 1,000 times the circumference of the crankshaft pulley. And we're going to lift a rock that weighs 200 pounds from the bottom of the cliff to the top of the cliff. So let's say our engine that we have produces 200 foot-pounds of torque at 1,000 RPM. Since our crankshaft circumference is 6.283 feet, and the depth of the cliff is 6,283 feet. It's going to take 1,000 revolutions to lift the rock from the bottom of the cliff to the top of the cliff. And since we are revolving at 1,000 revolutions per minute, it's going to do this job in one minute. So if we use our equation from before, we find that the horsepower is going to be equal to 200 times 1,000 divided by 5252, which is going to be 38 horsepower. So let's say that's not fast enough. Time is money. We need to do work quicker. So we get an engine that's rated to produce 200 foot-pounds of torque at 2,000 RPM. Well now, since the RPMs are double, it is going to effectively cut the time in half. So it can now, this new engine can now do the job in 30 seconds, where the old engine can only do the job in a minute. And consequently, the horsepower is going to double if we plug all these numbers into the equation again, and we're going to get a horsepower of 76. So this example shows you the usefulness of horsepower. Horsepower defines how fast an engine can produce work. So this next example, I'm going to sort of throw out ridiculous numbers here. Um, at least for a gasoline engine. They're actually not ridiculous for something like a steam engine. But let's say that we have an engine that can produce 10,000 foot-pounds of torque, but only at 10 RPM. Well, if you plug these numbers in, torque equals 10,000, RPM equals 10, divided by 5252, we get that the horsepower produced by this engine is 19. So even though this engine can produce an insane amount of torque, it cannot deliver it very fast. That's why its horsepower is so low, because the horsepower defines how fast an engine can deliver power or do work. Now let's say that the rock is now 400 pounds. Well, if we use the same engine, what's going to happen? The engine can only produce 200 foot-pounds of torque, and the rock weighs 400 pounds. It's not going to work. Um, the engine will stall. This is where we need to introduce the concept of gears. If we now put a 2 to 1 gear ratio between the engine and the pulley pulling up the rock, that will effectively double our torque at the cost of RPM. So it will cut our RPMs in half and will double the torque. The engine will still be running at a thousand RPMs. However, the pulley that it is attached to through the 2 to 1 gear ratio will now be rotating at 500 RPMs. So now we're producing 400 foot-pounds of torque and we can now lift the rock. Notice that 200 foot-pounds at 1000 RPM 
is the same exact horsepower as 400 foot-pounds at 500 RPM. This says that any sort of gearing you do through any transmission or anything does not affect the horsepower. So that's pretty much it. Torque is a measure of how much twisting force or power the engine produces, and horsepower is a measure of how fast that torque can be delivered to a load. Hope this helped out. Thanks for watching. <laughs>